tell you where the fish are. Get in there. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Yeah, yeah man. Bam. 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 Hey everybody, Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors. We're back here in the Alaska bush. It's Big Dave's favorite place, and we're curing eggs again. The last time we were up here, we cured eggs to be fished the next morning. We're not doing that today. You're curing these eggs to take home and fish for salmon steelhead in the Northwest, correct? Correct. Our, our other cure we did, we did a real quick cure. We threw the kitchen sink at them, and we cured them right now, and they were good to go. It looks like you brought the kitchen sink well, with you again. It's a little different though. We're gonna take our time with this a little bit. Okay. It might be a little bit like a cooking show, but right. here's the deal. We got our eggs. We have a little secret ingredients today, guys. And I don't care where you're at, but you guys that catch fish, you know what this is. This whale, is a, the, whale blubber? Well, it's not whale blubber. Oh, uh, okay. This is actually a sperm sack from a silver. Now, this could be a sperm sack from a trout, from a Anything. It salmon, doesn't really trout, matter. Salmon steel. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Why why do we have eggs? Eggs eggs these fish swim up the river, they have their eggs, they get added to this, and then guess what? We have more fish to catch the next time. Well guess what? This is a big ingredient right here. So, I'm just gonna tell you. We take our jar. We get a nice handful of eggs. And I like to pre-cut my eggs into my bait size chunks, as you can see. Okay? Our bait size chunks right here. Okay? So I might put, eh, that might be a little much. But there we go. We're gonna put that much in. Then I'm gonna go to my fire care. And I like to do layer of fire care. Okay. Layer of my borax of fire. Okay. Go a little bit of that. And then I like to go to my krill. We're, we're gonna put a little krill in there. For those okay. of you that are, may not be from the Northwest that are watching this, what, what, what krill is, firepower is what it's called, is basically 100% krill powder. So basically it's, it's a purified form of krill in a, in, a, in a dried form. And it really doesn't matter because all fish eat krill. Right, Okay. we're there because of the scent. Correct. Okay. So now I'm gonna take a little bit of my sperm sack. Shh. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys something. Just like you have your little cluster of eggs we put in, if you're fishing around a bunch of people and you're not catching fish, these little chunks are gonna cure up just like your eggs are. You can go ahead and put a little piece of this on your hook up your line, put your eggs on, let this float. These will cure up and be firm and they're great. So this is kind of what I do right there now. I'm gonna add a little more eggs, okay? So why aren't we just throwing all the eggs in there at once? What are we layering it up for? Well, we're laying it up and I'm just gonna tell you, it, 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 it still takes a little bit of time, but we're gonna put our cure in there. We're gonna put our fire brine, which we haven't got to yet, but we're gonna go ahead and, and rotate this jar about every, I like to do it about every, if I can, every three hours. And I like to let that cure and the, and the krill and the borax and the nectar and everything float through it and it'll go up and down and it'll all settle in there and they will cure clean through every egg. Similar to butterflying them and right. doing a dry cure or whatever. Okay, so. So now we got our, we got our eggs in here. We got, we got a layer of cure. Now we're gonna do another like quick little layer right here. Okay. Thank you. A little more firepower. Okay. That. Now, you can do this in any color you want. I mean, you know, when I'm fishing steelhead, I like to use orange and natural. Okay. I don't. So pink and red are primarily this salmon. This is kind of more salmon for me. Okay. This is kind of more salmon for me. Not that I can't catch a steelhead right. or a trout or anything on this, but that's kind of what I like. So here you go. You can kind of see we've we've got this layered. Now, I'm gonna add my fire brine. We're doing this red, which is my favorite. A little red, about that much, okay? And kind of the key ingredient, which nectar, it's not a big mystery so much. What's nectar? You know, a lot of people don't even know what nectar is. <laughs> well, there you nectar go. is 100% salmon egg juice. Basically, when we cook 
anywhere from a quarter to half million jars of salmon eggs a year. That's the juice that comes off those eggs. It's a very strong scent for trout, salmon, steelhead. A lot of guys still don't even understand why you use it. Well, I, I, I can tell you one thing. It works very well. So I like to really load them up with that as well. Let me get this all loaded up. And there we go. Now we're going to take our lid. Lid's going on. The nice thing about eggs like this, you can you can leave these in your freezer forever but they'll actually stay in your fridge for months I've, I've taken eggs like this and i have fished them a year later a year later so, in the fridge and they stay cured one question a lot of guys are going to have you know we sell fire cure as a cure we mm -hmm. sell boraxifier yep. as a cure yeah. we sell firebrine as a cure why are you using all of them instead of doing something simple? Well, I've always been kind of a kitchen sink kind of guy. Yeah, it looks like and a it, kitchen it, sink out and here. And it's like, I try to take everything that there is. Here's the thing. You can cure eggs in this. You can cure eggs in your cure. You, we, we can cure eggs in cure. This will work great on its own. Barack's fire will work great on its own. And yeah, you can cure all day, eggs all day in this. In, in the fire brine and it's all great but there's something about mixing everything together so it, you're looking for the ultimate egg it, the, ul it's, the ultimate there, there's so much pressure the out there now the ultimate. having a perfect egg and you've seen it before fishing with me up here where we've been fishing and there might be another boat out there that is struggling and they're catching a few fish where we have fish on the whole every time. cast every yep. cast and this is why so last question how long do you let this sit in the refrigerator before you can actually start fishing your little kitchen sink contraption so, here? I will let this sit for anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, okay? Uh, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. Then, even if you want, sometimes I'll drain this off. Mm -hmm. And then you know what I might do? I might put more nectar in it. If I feel the egg is too hot and, and too tough, then I'll just add nectar back in there and those eggs will just, they'll suck every bit of that nectar in and, and they're amazing. And they'll be, they'll be great. Now, a wet egg, which this is gonna be a wet egg, a wet egg is gonna release its scent and, and. So these are gonna milk basically. These are gonna Big milk. Big time scent trail. Big time. Now, if I drain these things out and I make them dry, they're gonna last forever. So if you you know if, if you have a limited supply of eggs, maybe you want them a little bit tougher so you can stretch your eggs out and and make them go yeah. longer. If you can afford to let them milk, let them milk, let them milk, and run a wet egg, and you can kind of see how that how that looks now as we mix it up. And what I'll do is I'll set that down, and I might let it sit there for four hours, and then four hours later, I'm gonna flip it upside down. And everything will start to dissolve. All the cures will dissolve and they'll all go into the eggs. Now I'm just gonna tell you, you see this jar right here? I cured these ones up for steelhead. These are steelhead eggs, okay? So to get this, you did orange Braxifier, orange fire cure, natural fire brine or orange fire brine, Correct. and firepower. Correct. So you basically have the tools here to match it whether you want it red, pink, orange, or natural. Yes, I did. Okay. And now you can see, when I, you see how this, this egg right here, how, how wet it is, yeah. this is exactly what this looked like. But now look, there's barely any liquid left. The eggs have absorbed everything. Every right. bit of it. Now look at this egg. Look at these things. They're butterflied. Oh my. Look at them. Beautiful. They're beautiful. Um, and they were great. Wonderful. And they were great. And you can see they've sucked every bit of that liquid up. I didn't have to add any nectar to these because I, I mixed them just the way I wanted them. But if they were too dry, just add nectar. You guys are out there, and I don't care you know, what you do, but if you get too hard on your cure, and you guys have all done it, where you get an egg that's too tough and it's, it's, it's too hard, well, guess what? You can take any egg you want add nectar. They will suck that nectar back into them. Don't be afraid to give the kitchen sink a try and uh, you can use an egg basically like a pro does.